it looks let, let's make a video you guys want to be a part of the video hey what's up everyone welcome to today's video and today i'm going to teach you how to do the new voyage for the merchants that rare has recently added in to the sea of thieves so once you get your voyage you can buy it from lady duke at the tavern or go to the merchant lords themselves pick it up you're gonna be gifted this beautiful fine looking map once you get the map you are going to try to find the first piece of the clue so let's find it Thank you, Twitch Hitbo. I'm gonna take it from here. This is the YouTube Hitbo where it's a little bit more clear on what's going on. So again, welcome to today's video. I'm gonna show you or teach you how to do the new voyages for the merchants called the Lost Shipments. It's a very easy voyage to do and it's a lot of fun. So let's talk about it. The new voyage type is a follow the crumbs type of voyage where you're gonna go from one clue to the next clue to the next clue all that will eventually lead you to a merchant vault, a shipwreck that you can find. And if you find the key along the way, you can actually get access to what I'm calling the merchant vault, which is in the captain's cabin on that shipwreck. And it leads you to a lot of merchant loot. Upon voting on the voyage from Lady Duke or the merchant lords themselves, you are going to be given a map, which is going to tell you some key data. It's going to tell you where the ship started and where it ends, and it's going to show you a little bit of a path along the way. So you are going to set sail following this path, and what you're going to be looking for is a grouping of birds. This will be the first clue to your voyage on what happened to quote unquote this lost shipment upon arriving to the barrels what you're going to look for specifically is a new barrel that rare has created and it is decked out in merchant colors so once you find that barrel make sure to open it up take the next clue and this is something very important i want to make a note of i saw a lot of people saying they couldn't find the key or whatever the case might be every time i did the voyage i found the key i think the important thing here to remember is the key can spawn at any part of this voyage it can spawn at any of the clue sites it can even spawn on the wreckage itself near the helm or anywhere on that ship so you really want to make sure that you're keeping a keen eye looking for that captain's key because if you don't have the key you can't open the merchant vault now the rest of the voyage is going to be a little bit straightforward honestly it wasn't that difficult to figure it out each clue would tell you to do something a little bit different however the key thing i want to point out is you're either going to be looking for islands that the clues tell you to go to which you'll try to find some merchant loot and the next clue or more likely you're gonna be looking for some clues that are found in the seas marked by a unique looking bird set. Like it, it doesn't look like anything I've seen in the Sea of Thieves. I think it's unique for these voyages. So it's a little bit of a smaller pattern for the birds. So keep an eye out for that in the area where the clue is telling you to look eventually what will happen is you will get a clue that says we ran into a rock or the meg was attacking us or it'll say something along the lines of we made a beeline to the outpost that we were trying to get to we made a beeline to our destination that is the final clue to this voyage type now i do want to say i did notice that you can actually find these clues out of order so it's really important that you pay attention to the first clue and follow each clue after that otherwise what might happen is you might be missing the key and i actually think that's why some of you are missing the keys anyways upon getting that last clue that says they made a beeline to the destination you're going to want to go around and follow that path and look for the next set of birds which will be the shipwreck upon finding the shipwreck there's two things you want to do first you want to take that key that you found on one of the clue sites and take that to the captain's quarters open the door and you're going to see what we are officially calling the merchant vaults there is so much merchant loot in here that we actually got to emissary level five on our merchant on the first voyage which is pretty awesome i'm very excited to see that merchants are kind of you know not as fun as maybe the other uh trading companies so this actually is one of my favorite voyages now and i've really enjoyed doing this so open the captain's quarter get all the loot 
put it on your ship a quick pro tip here is you actually don't have to swim it up you can just kind of let it go and let it float to the top uh so just grab some food and go down and grab all the loot and just let your mate harpoon it to the ship the second thing that you don't want to forget to find is the manifest of the ship so search around the ship you're going to be looking for a skeleton with the merchant hat on it and right in his hand is going to be the manifest this is worth some big money so make sure you grab that put that on your ship now all of this will sell to the merchant which is awesome you get a lot of merchant rep in fact i went two levels just by doing this voyage five or six times i'm really excited about this voyage type if you guys have any questions comments or concerns let me know in the comments below and i will make sure to check that out thanks for watching and i hope this video was a little bit informative it's a little bit different than the normal videos that i do for the how-to guides but honestly i'm just having a little bit of fun and trying something out so if you like this new style also let me know what you think thanks again for watching and i hope to see you guys out on the seas